for trying to kill police. <laughs> This week on The Soccer Show, Liam Coyle, one of the all-time greats. Duffy's Dream Team fundraiser. Dundalk game for Cup Glory. Plus goals from the Aircom League. Derry City's Liam Coyle is recognised as one of the greatest talents ever to play in Ireland. At 33, his career is being honoured with the CD-ROM of his greatest goals. It's very hard to find words that haven't really been said about Liam. I mean, he's a natural talent, great to watch. Absolutely superb. Some of the things he does, I mean, you wonder where he gets them from. He's an absolutely fantastic player and he's entertained people here for, for so many years now. Uh, but he's got a team around him that uh, recognise the ability. It's not only his goals, it's his play. It's, he's got everything, really. He can hold the ball up, he's strong, he's got great vision. Playing alongside him, you know if you make a run, nine times out of ten he'll find you. The, the vision's great and he's got everything to his game. He's a, probably the best player in Ireland, by far. He's just proved like over the years he's been he's a super player. I'll probably get a bit of stick now for giving him a lot of praise, like, but he, for the young players especially, like, he's really looked after as well. Coyle made his debut during Derry's famous treble winning season of 1988-89 and instantly made an impact. I scored a hat on my debut and uh, like, it, was, uh, it was a good day all around, you know, because I, I didn't expect they to play, never mind score a hat you know. I was only 19 at the time and for a young little boy to come on and score a hat-trick, I think the fans, it was just somebody that identified me. Coyle's performance in the following season's European Cup could have led to a dream move, but for a tragic knee injury. We played Benfica in the European Cup the following season, and um, at that time, like, they were unbelievable. We played in the brand, only beat us 2 1, and I had a good game. You know, and I heard after it like, that uh, Sven Jorn Eriksson, who was the manager at the time, he was interested in taking me over. We played them on Wednesday, and then we went down to Dundalk on a Sunday uh, for a, a league game. and. With 10 minutes on the game, I get, I get uh, injured, you know. Doctors and uh, nurses and physiotherapists all told me it was never going to heal, so I took the advice and packed it on. It was really tough, you know, because I'd more or less set my heart in moving, you know, moving to England or moving, moving somewhere, you know, and for it to be taken away all of a sudden was it was difficult, you know, it's, and for somebody to tell you 20 years of age you're not going to be able to play football again, you know. I had re resigned myself, not, but my mother kept at me and she kept pushing me. They say you're, you're not giving it up because it's not that... You're not going to throw everything away because of one injury. And a Super Bowl there by Carlisle, setting Doolin away. It was two years before I played senior football again. Like a pl playing in the Aries League with Oma Town, who were the only team would probably take me on because everybody was afraid that the knee wasn't going to hold up, you know, and I played up there for a year, had a good season, and the following season, there I sent me back again. The mistake was pounced on by Liam Coyle. We won the cup and won the league, and we could have done, we could have won two doubles, you know, but we blew it, and we blew one down in Athlone that last day of the season, you know, and then she has us in the cup final for a double, so, well, I know, it's been pretty, pretty good since I came back, you know. I've never classed myself as an out-and-out -out goal scorer, you know, I've, I've always been a more a provider, I've always played a wee bit deeper than the usual centre forward, you know, and I've always played with a striker up front who scored goals, so it doesn't really bother me if, if I haven't scored 120 goals or whatever, you know, because I've probably won more than the other, the other people, you know. I scored one today, we, were, we lost the league down that alone, I scored a goal that day, it was probably the best goal I ever scored, you know. It was all down to, it was because of our pressure and and uh, but unfortunately it wasn't enough they won us the league. You know. Liam works as hard as the rest of the, rest of the lads. Uh, we'd be giving the odd night off. Um, he still wants to train and, and he, would, he would question if you allow him off too much because he doesn't want to play on, on his reputation. He works extremely hard. But I mean, because the injuries, the injuries Liam has had over the years, and because of his age too, he just can't do as, as much as, as uh, some of our younger lads do. 
don't run around pitches now the way you did 10 years ago, you know, that's all they do with an hour and a half football. Now you train, you train, they, they, shoot, they shoot the game. Perhaps with one eye on a future in coaching, Coyle has taken a full-time position with Derry's football in the community programme. Football in the community, it's, uh, it's not really a, a pure of coaching you know, talented footballers. It's more about helping uh, kids that are not getting a chance. We bring them in, have a bit of fun with them, play a bit of football for an hour and a half. And I think that, I think so far it's been going pretty well, you know. A very small percentage of kids actually play football at a serious level, so it's a chance to engage other kids who normally don't get a chance to take part in something like this. And the emphasis is if you have fun and enjoyment, you might on a natural way find footballers along the way. Where it's helping Derry City, it's given a bigger role and increased role within the community. And it means people now relate to Derry and have a slight ownership and feel that like they're part of the club. And I think that's what has been missing for a long time. But hopefully we can continue the work and improve the relationship with Derry City has. Who's on? They hope they get under an academy of some description. And uh, well, or it be me or whoever's in charge. That, that's down to Derry City at the end of the day.